Well, hey family, this is Darlene. I am packaging up uh, the seven envelopes. And remember, I'm sending out seven pieces of jewelry to seven different movie studios on the 7th of July. But this is the thing, because I work on the 7th, uh, July 7th, and I don't get off until 4.30. What I'm going to do is have everything already packaged up. And I'm going to the post office on Saturday and I'm going to get the postage put on each one of the envelopes and then I'm going to just mail it on the 7th. And it's not like it's a gift or like, um, you know, a purchase that's going to someone. So I, I could do it that way. It's, it'll be delayed shipment, uh, meaning that I've already paid for it on Saturday, but I'm going to drop it in the mailbox on the 7th. So, you know, me and my seven, sevens is a holy number. Seven is a whole, it's whole, it's holy, um, it's perfect. It's in alignment with purpose. And um, it's just always been my number. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm kind of putting all this stuff together. And um, I had thought about it. I'm not going to show the pieces that I've made to go in the envelopes only because I want those pieces to be, um, I don't want them duplicated.
three, four, five, six, and this is seven, but I need to see which one of the letters did not get in here, because I do have, I, I believe I got seven letters, right? One, two, three, four, five. I got six letters, so then that means I have to print out another letter. So I'm gonna, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have to go in and print out the seventh letter for that one. I'm not sure which one of the uh, studios it is for that one, but I'll find out in a little bit. So what I'm going to do with these now, after I print out this other letter, I'm going to put that letter in here. So I'm going to put seven pieces in each one of these, uh, in each one of these bags. And then I'm going to bag them up in these envelopes right here. We'll get these all written up. So this will go to Warner Brothers Studios. 4000. Zero, zero, zero. Warner Boulevard. Burbank. California. Nine, nine. Five two two. So we'll get these all ready to go. And this one is gonna go to CBS Studios. Forty twenty four Batford. Avenue. And remember, everything is op pretty much open back up and is opening back up. You know, so there's this uh, 91604. You know, there's this uh, energy of newness. Remember we talked about? So some businesses that were alive and well last year before March are no longer live and well. You know, that's just the reality of it. So this one is for Tyler. Harry Studios. They say he's really open with um, talent and and uh, working with people. So we'll, we'll see. And you know how you expect, but you don't expect. And it's like if any one of them, you know, respond, that's absolutely great. Even if they responded with a thank you letter, that's absolutely cool. So whatever it is that I get, I'm going to share with you. Whatever whatever comes from me sending out these seven uh, envelopes, I'm going to uh, share with you all. So that'll be this one. And this one is for Sony Studio 10202 West Washington Boulevard, Culver City, California. Nine zero two three two. Oh, and then you know what I'm gonna put on here wardrobe. We'll say attention, and I shouldn't even put it down there. I should have put it up here. It makes me look stupid right here. So, um, well, it is blank. So let's do this, cause it should have went attention. Uh, Sony Studios attention wardrobe, and then the address.
so I kind of don't like that. I'm going to have to probably use another envelope for this one. And then we'll do this one for Sony. <coughs> Studios. And the thing with it is, I'm excited to see what happens from it. You know, that's the whole thing about it. Just put it out there and seeing what happens. And whatever happens, as long as you're ready for whatever happens. And remember, we talked about having product ready. Cobra City, California. And it, it won't be a problem to produce what it is that they want because it's what you already do you know it's what you do and because it is what you do it's easy you know to, to produce because it's what you do okay so for this one this is did i say fox i got a video going that's why it keeps um that uh sound keeps coming up so let's do this one is for Fox Studio Lot One Zero Two Zero One Pico Boulevard um, Los Angeles California Nine zero zero six four. Okay, so that's that one. And then we'll do it. this one is to Television City. Because I had thought about that. I was like, well, I work on the 7th, so I have to figure out. Oh, no, I'm going to have to drop them in the mailbox on the 6th so they can mail out on the 7th. Because that's what I want them to mail out on the 7th. So that means I have to drop everything in the box on the 6th. So then that way when they pull the mail out of the, uh, you know, out of the mailboxes, it'll be mailed out on the, uh, on the 7th. Okay, so this is the last one. And then I need to... Uh, Print the letter for the other one. Put my address on here. So these are all done. Everything all nice and clean. And we have this. And we got, we got our seven. We got our letter. We got our lookbook in the envelopes. And... Off camera, I'm going to put the seven pieces in only because remember, those are pieces that I don't want duplicated. Um, but I will tell you this some of the bracelets that I'm going to put in uh, the envelopes are going to be the bracelets with the hex nuts. So for me, those are very different, those are very unique. So those I'm going to, uh, I'll have those in there. And then, like for some of the earrings, I did some really jazzy. I mean the jazziest of the jazziest with uh, with the earrings. So those are like really nice. And then I'm putting in a couple of um, necklaces. So in two of them, like for Tyler Perry and CBS, I'm going to put the chunky necklaces. Those really big chunky necklaces that I make, I'm going to put those in there. And everybody else can kind of go to the website and, you know, take a look at those. So this one, I got to print the letter out and do the envelope. And then I'll be all set. I'm going to put the, the jewelry in here um, this morning. And I'll have these already done. So these were the duplicated letters that I did to keep for myself. And then I'll file those away. And we'll have that um, we'll have that already. Everything ready to go. Everything is such a mess up in here. And when I walked up in here this morning, I was like, oh my God, it, it's just like stuff everywhere. And the thing is... I'm moving from table to table because there's space on tables, right? But now I've used all the space on every table. So now I'm over here at the, the printer table and I'm like, oh, okay, no, I got to, I got to backtrack and clean spaces and throw stuff away and do all that. So I can go back to the opposite side of the room and work like I normally do. 
But anyway, Darlene Knight for Jury by BDK. And I wanted to give some, some shout outs real quick. You guys are like the most amazing women. You know, all of you that make comments, you do your purchases, you do, you buy me cups of coffee, um, you know, like just everything. I truly, 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 truly appreciate you all. Um, there's a lot of new subscribers and um, I don't remember people's names and, and that kind of stuff. And then I can kind of give them shout outs, right? But I wanted to say that to the new members, thank you for joining us. I do hope that you learn something here. Um, and it's more becoming a channel of a mixture, a uh, jewelry or whatever it is that you make, but also business tips. Um, because on the opposite side of creating, if you plan to build your creative uh collections or, or whatever it is that you do into a business you have to understand the business part of it like the pricing of it the cost structure you know uh directive costs like just just like all kind of and then how do i price my my product how do i do all this and you'll find in a link um i have put together a digital guide and it might be four or five pages it might be four or five pages i don't know but it talks a lot about um you know, just pricing. It gives you uh, information about directive, uh, direct costs, overhead costs, hidden costs, you know, and some of those hidden costs is that we don't even, uh, you know, think about many times. One of them is like gas. We don't think about gas, you know, it's a hidden cost. We put gas in the car, right? But we don't really think about it. We put gas in the car, but we don't think about it, right? So it's gas, it's like insurance, there's uh, obsolete inventory, there's bad debt, there's miscellaneous shipping, a few, to, like just a lot of different hidden costs uh, for things. And we just don't consider that stuff, you know, when we're doing our business, we just go about our day. That's like when I said, I'm gonna go to the post office, you know, on Saturday to get postage on these, that's gas I have to use, but that's still costs, right? And many times we don't add that cost into our expenses as it relates to business. But anyway, there's a link in the description um, to that little guide. And I think it's a lot of good information, not very expensive at all. You know, if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. And I'm going to gradually add like little guides um, on my, uh, on the Etsy shop. And I figured I would do it on the Etsy shop only because it's easier for people to just kind of download that digital uh that digital uh document right so then you have um some different things that i'm coming up with for uh business related because we we need to know those things i mean that's a lot of stuff we we just really need to know and if you already know it hey is this is not for you but if you if you happen to not know it no worries, don't worry about it. We're gonna uh, get that all covered. Um, and then there's even something I'm gonna talk about that's, uh, I'm putting a little guide together now, is financing alternatives, right? So we'll talk about that. It's something like, uh, we'll cover like uh, angel investors, we'll cover crowdfunding, we'll cover uh, private investment, we'll cover, you know, just a, a lot of different things, alternative lenders, just a lot of good stuff. And I'm not making them like really big digital files. And like I said, I think the other one is maybe five or six pages. And I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna make them like very concise. That's why they're not expensive for you to buy. Uh, very concise, uh, brief, but a lot of good information that you may not know or may not have considered when it comes to business. Because you not only wanna just know how to create you also want to know the business part of it too. And I think that's what happened with a lot of uh, entertainers, especially in the early days. They didn't know anything about the business part of it. They were entertainers, right? And very good entertainers. Yet they didn't know anything about business and therefore they were always taken advantage of because they did not know anything about business. But uh, try that mess with these people today. They're coming up out of colleges with business degrees and not only are they entertainers, you know, they're uh, 
their business. They they graduated from colleges, you know, with business and accounting degrees and stuff. So you can't pull that stuff over on them. And I was watching a, what was that I was looking at? Something I was looking. Oh my goodness, what was it? Oh, I think it was like the Mary J. Blige documentary. Um, and I guess Mary's a really good artist, but I've never been into her like that. But I happened to trip across um her documentary on Amazon. And I watched a couple of pieces. I watched a little bit of it, right? Um, didn't get all the way through it because again, I'm not I'm not a fan of I don't follow people like that anyway. But um I, I noticed like with hers, with Annie, she was saying in the very beginning, she was like all over the radio, she was like real popular, her music was being played everywhere, but she was broke. She was still living in the ghetto, she was still living in the project, she still didn't have anything. And you sitting in, in this project apartment, you know, listening to your music being played every day, all day, every day, all day, and you had no money. And that sounds like it's a, a it's a, a generic story with all these, uh, well, in, in past time with, you know, all the entertainers. And then she was saying like, when she started getting out and doing the touring and doing all this, and then the drugs came in. It's like, yeah, the drugs came in because guess what? Those that are in power have a strategy to keep every dime you make. So in the very beginning, just like with any business, you're not making any money for the first, maybe second year, right? The, maybe the first two years, you're not making very much money. You know, you making money to reinvest, make money to reinvest. So I'm believing the same is so with, with celebrities. I mean, like with entertainers. So she was saying now she's on tour, she's doing all these things. And as the more busier she got, blah, blah, blah. Um, the drugs came into play. It's like, yes, the drugs came into play because that's their strategy. See, these people don't play uh, checkers. They play chess and they're good at it. So once the money start coming in, right, that money coming in, that money coming in, and like I can imagine millions and millions of dollars. They don't want to give that money to you, little Negro. They're not trying to do that. They want to keep as much of that money as they possibly can. And you trust and believe um, the people that are around these entertainers, the lawyers, the accountants, the drug dealers, those people are all part of that one little uh, clique that controls that industry, right? So and watch any documentary, listen to any story from any of these people that got on drugs or whatever. It's the same story. So the thing is, once you start getting really, 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 really popular, right? This is what it seems to be, entertainment. You get really, really popular you sell them records, money is coming in now. Then before you know it, it's the drugs, it's the alcohol, it's the this, it's the that, right? So it begins with the cocaine. You're starting on the cocaine because that keeps you amp, that keeps you woke to keep you be able to, to keep it for, performing. And then at some point you start doing the harder stuff, right? Because now you always too amped up. You can't sleep, you can't do whatever, I'm assuming, right? And then before you know it, you're on the harder stuff. And then you look around, you're in rehab. And you broke. Okay, well, what happened to all the money? They kept all the money while they were feeding you the drugs. Every just story after story after story after story. And that's how they do it. And they keep the money. And I'm going to tell you all this. It may be a conspiracy theory, but you cannot tell me every black celebrity that's a, uh, uh, that appears to be a responsible, that's like Chadwick Boseman. You can't tell me that man didn't have no will. You can't keep telling me that every black person that is of celebrity status and has money does not have a will. You can't pay me to tell me Prince didn't have a will. I just don't believe that. Is organized in his business, is that man was, you didn't have a will? Come on, y'all stop playing. Stop the uh-uh. Go, go on with that. And they tell us that stuff because we believe that stuff. I don't believe it. And it may be a conspiracy theory on my part. And you know, I'm just chatting. <laughs> this is just between me and y'all, right? With a cup of coffee. But anyway, you can't tell me that these people don't have wheels. I, I just don't believe that. That's like if um Denzel or Samuel, God forbid, one of them passed, the first thing they start hollering with, there was no will. Yes, it was. It was a will. It was a will. And I'm just like, y'all better stop. I, I just, I don't, every one of them died, don't have no will. That don't make no sense. Aretha Franklin didn't have no will. Uh, that's stupid. And if they didn't have a will, where is the person, the accountant and uh, 
all those people behind the scenes, that's their management. And then that works with their money. That's your job. Your job is to make sure that they got wills, that they got uh, their property and everything is put into a trust and all those type, all those type of things. So where is the people behind the scenes? You know why? They all working together. They all working together. Know that, and how are we to know that there was not a will if you working with the pack that's against the person in the first place? So what you do, you take the will and hide it behind, sit on top of it, sit on it. So nobody can see it. it. Well, there was no will. She never wanted a will. You see what I'm saying? It's like, don't miss me with all that stuff. But anyway, I kind of went off track, <laughs> went off track with that one. But y'all know how I do. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So we got this scheduled for Saturday to go to the post office on Saturday. Get these all stamped up with the um, with the shipping labels. Put them in a drop box on the 6th. And I'm going to videotape myself doing that so you guys can see me. Uh, putting everything in in the uh, in the uh, in the box in the box, and that's the thing too. I know a lady. I'm just chatting, but anyway, I know a lady, and she makes uh, well, they're not caftans. They're like dusters with a nice, pretty, soft material. And I was telling her that I was like, if you make those and and put your whole uh. If you make those and put your whole uh, lookbook and everything together and begin to ship those out to like the uh, movie studios and stuff, you'll probably do really well. And you just never know what these people is going to do. But anyway, my phone is going to probably ring again. Darling and I for Jury by BDK. Thank you for being a subscriber. Um, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the all button. Hit the bell and then hit all. Then that way you'll be notified each time we upload a video. Because you sure don't want to miss what we got going on up in here. Okay, Darling and I, we'll talk soon.